So let's talk about setting up a template from the photo booth graphics store in SnapPick. We use typically 1200 by 1800 for a 4x6, 1800 by 1200 for a 6x4, 600 by 1800 for a 2x6, and then square we'll use 1600 by 1600. So you purchase one of our 4x6s, just for example, on our site, and uh, you need to create the template in SnapPick. Let's take a look at it. So here is the photo booth template design program that they have on SnapPix page. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit create new template. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the middle here where there's a drop down and we're going to come down to 4 by 6, 1200 by 1800. So the reason why I have 1200 by 1800 is because if you do 4 times 300, which is our DPI or dots per inch, that equals 1200. So 4 times 300 equals 1200. 6 times 300 equals 1800. So that's where we got the math from. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop where we have our, our template here. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this layer here. Now, if you see at the bottom, we have our X, Y width and height coordinates. So X, Y width and height. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take notes of these so that way I know what we're doing. So it's 40, 40, 11, 20, 11, 20. Okay. So we know that's a one to one ratio inside the photo box. So I'm going to go ahead and close, hide these two layers down at the bottom so I can make it a PNG. So I'm going to come up here and hit file, save as. I want to save this as a PNG. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call the this Sweden 4x6, and I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come in here to my Finder, and I'm going to go to my folder here where I have it saved right here. And then right here, and I called it for Sweden 4x6. Now, one of the things I want to check, too, before I drop it in is see how big that is. So it's only 33 kilobytes, so I feel fine about that. If it was bigger than that, I would want to use a site like TinyPNG and bring it down. So if it was over a meg, I'd bring it down one megabyte. So we're I'm happy with this. I'm going to come back over to SnapPix website. And I'm going to upload the overlay. Okay. And so I'm going to go back into this, into my fo folder here. I'm going to find my name right here. And then we were in Sweden. And I wanted the Sweden 4x6. Okay. All right. So now you see that the overlay opacity is set to be where we can see transparency so we can see where we're going to add the frame. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is we'll hit add frame right here. And these are where we kept those numbers in our head or written down on a piece of paper. So our X was 40, our Y was 40, and our width was 1120 by 11. 20 and our rotation is zero. We're going to hit update. Okay, now do you see how that has filled right underneath the frame? I feel happy about that. We're good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up. This tells me that, hey, this is set correctly. I don't have any white space in the middle here. I'm good to go. Opacity is at 100. My frame position and size is doing great. And I'm just going to hit save. And I'm going to give it a name. So this is what we call um, a 4 by 6 square photo. Okay, and we're going to hit save. And this is going to be a single overlay. And it is simple as that. 
you have any questions, feel free to reach us out on our support at photoboothgraphics.com support.